Welcome to part two of your Viva Survival Guide. <laughs> so for this part, we're going to be talking a little bit about hair and makeup. Um, for myself, I only get my hair styled one time. I think last year I did it one time. This year I'm only getting it one time professionally done. Um, if you do have your hair styled by like uh, one of the hairstylists, I highly suggest in investing in a good hairnet so that your style stays longer if that's what you want. Or a bonnet. Bonnets are for everybody. Bonnets are for everybody. <laughs> Another thing I suggest is if you want your hairstyle to hold a long time is use hairspray and then the hair dryer right after to really lock in that um, hairstyle. Um, what else? Well, I have a different type of texture hair. Um, so I have more of a curly hair type and I find that when I usually go to Viva, I'll straighten it just to kind of help that process. I do use a lot of, um, wig pieces and ponytails and the little Betty bangs. And, um, today I'm rocking a little page boy done by Miss Claudia Rocks herself. Courtesy of me. <laughs> um, yes, hairspray can wreck your hair. Um, but at the same time, if you're doing like, a, like this hair right here, I put a little bit of hairspray, I will brush it out and tomorrow I'll do a different style. And it honestly helps your hair hold. Right. I know it sounds so gross, but yeah, do, um, dry shampoo and then it'll, your hair will hold for like days. It's crazy. <laughs> Cause I'll literally sleep in this and I'll wake up the next day and just like kind of fix some of the like little pieces sticking out and then I'm good to go. But I would say a really big suggestion of mine is especially if you're going from event to event you don't have a hairstylist you don't necessarily know how to style hair i would highly suggest investing in a good wig um first of all it saves your hair you don't have to apply heat you don't have to apply hairspray well actually you do at the base like to make it stay but the rest of your hair is good and yeah, I think it's a really good suggestion, especially um, hair pieces too. having hair pieces to do different little styles. Like there's one that they have on Amazon where it's just like a little poodle topper. But um, if you're in the market to invest in a good wig, I have a friend. I will link her below. Um, she has an Instagram. It's um, Que Bonita by Araceli or Senorita Delita. Yes. I will link her Instagram. Um, she does really, really beautiful wigs. And like I said, sometimes you get charged up to $200 for One getting hair a hairstyle. And a wig One. is something you can use multiple times and they just end up staying beautiful. So that's one of my suggestions. Also, a wet set. I'm going to try my first wet set this wet year. Wet sets. That's a good one too. I love so. I If um, you follow me on TikTok, I actually have a previous video where I showed how I did my wet set and the process of brushing it out. So check it out um and if you guys have any other suggestions or anything to add to what we're saying be sure to either stitch or add a comment below and if you're on youtube make sure to like and subscribe because we have our new episodes there all the time and i always i'm always putting like funny stuff on there or stuff that i unbox but yeah oh oh setting spray yes i learned this trick where so i'll do like um i usually start off with my brows and then I do setting spray. Obviously I do um, uh, primer first. I do my brows, I do setting spray. I do um, my uh, foundation and I rub it in. I smooth it out, setting spray. I then do my contour, setting spray. And then I do my um, concealer after that, setting spray. So adding setting spray in between each step of your makeup process will make it whole for a long period of time. Yes. And um, if you don't have setting spray, not gonna lie, a really good <laughs> ghetto suggestion is using hairspray. I know it sounds so bad, but it works and your makeup <laughs> will stay. Locks it's crazy, in. like it really locks it in and it has to be something with a super fine mist. I usually use, what is it, the Tresemme? Yeah, the Tresemme. The Tresemme is like, that's a really good one for just a quick little I'm telling you, that shit will stay. All day. Your makeup will not move. <laughs> Let's see, what else? Don't forget bobby pins, hair bobby ties. Pins. 
Um, it's always good to have bobby pins in your bag. I usually have like a little bag that I put in all of like, I carry it throughout whatever bag that I'm using and it has bobby pins. It has um, a little tiny sewing kit because you just never know. You just never know. And especially out there, us all wearing vintage or whatever we have, there's always room for something to happen. It'll so it's pop. Better to be prepared than sorry. Do you remember when you walked out of your shoes yes last year? <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> well, my co host left. <laughs> She's actually just outside, uh, busy right now. Um,. But I wanted to finish up the video because my phone cut out. It ran out of storage. I do way too many videos and so I had to go back and delete some. So if you guys have any suggestions or anything that you want a tutorial on or you want me to talk a little more in depth about, be sure to drop it down below. Um, any questions at all, I'm going to be doing a couple more like videos so you guys can be a little more well prepared because it's coming soon, like really, really soon. Um, all right, that's it for today. No, not for today. I'm going to do another video. So, all right. Bye.